In this video, we'll look at how to set up Capture Pilot from Capture One and how we can use this on a professional photo shoot. For the best results, we recommend using a private Wi-Fi network here. Here we can see an Apple Airport. This is a small Wi-Fi device which allows us to password protect our Wi-Fi to stop anybody joining our session that we wouldn't want to. If we take a look in our session, as default here, I've set up two smart albums, one with a green tag and one with a green tag and five stars. It will become apparent throughout this video why I've done this. First of all, we must make sure we are on the same Wi-Fi network as the devices we want to connect to. Here we can see in the dropdown, I can go to my Capture Pilot Wi-Fi device and connect my laptop to this. I can pull out the Capture Pilot tab and I will just zoom in here so we can get a better look at the settings we have available for us here. First of all, we can name our server. This will take the session name by default. We can then select the folder that we want to broadcast. Here I will broadcast the green tag folder. This means that I can review the images on the computer before sending them over to a client's iPad or anything else making sure that all the images are in focus and lit correctly before sending them across to the mobile device. We can also add a password here if we're on an open network. This will allow us to stop anybody joining this capture pilot session that we do not want to. As I'm already on a private Wi-Fi network with a password, I will not use a password in this situation. Finally, at the bottom here, we have published to mobile and web and we'll use both of these applications for different things. Next, if I go across to the mobile tab, I can choose what permissions I want to give the user holding the iPad. In this scenario, this would be my client. So once I've green tagged my photos, they will appear on the iPad for the client to review. You can see under permissions, we have rate images, color tag images, adjust images, and capture images. In this scenario, I do not want my client to be able to capture images or adjust images. Also, as I am only broadcasting the green tag color album, I don't want them to accidentally change the color tag so they would lose sight of the images. You can connect to the web tab with any device that can open an internet browser. This also means that this can be used on an Android device. As multiple people will be accessing this, I will turn all the permissions off here so they do not overwrite each other. Once I am happy with my settings, I can click Start Server and it will start broadcasting this through my Wi-Fi connection. As you can see on the iPad, if I open Capture Pilot, I can then see my server available here. You can see there are no images currently in my Capture Pilot server. This is because none of them have been given a green tag yet. As I go through on Capture One and green tag any of my images, you'll see them instantly appear on the iPad interface for my client to review. On the iPad, I can bring these up full screen, swipe through the images and review them as I wish. We can also zoom to 100% to check the focus. In this scenario, I will say to my client, any images that they like, they can give a five star rating. This is one of the reasons that I set up the five star and green tag albums earlier today. This means that as my client goes through, five stars any items, they will appear in the green tag and five star album on my Capture One. This can be very helpful. At the end of my photo shoot, I already have two albums, one where everything is lit correctly and in focus in my green tag album, and then anything that my client likes in the green tag and five star album. And next we will look at the web version. As I open my web browser, I will type in the local IP address in here. The local IP address can be found under the web tab. Once I've typed this in, we will see the web gallery appear here with all the images to browse. As we turned off the permissions, we cannot rate or color tag these images. 
There are many variations in the way that we can set up Capture Pilot. However, I find this the easiest way to do it on my photography set to make sure that everything runs smoothly and my client is not always next to the computer and can review the images from the iPad in the comfort of the studio.